Guys, I'm over at 1316, 13, 14 East. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a picky walkthrough video, show you guys a few things here, and uh, you can tell me where the costs come from. Uh, I know the plan is to put hipsters in this house. One, we're on a main road here. Two, Mexican restaurant next door. Three, very Hispanic neighborhood to the back. I don't know that this is really gonna go hipster, but if that's the intention, I don't think the quality's here. For example, just look at this house right here. New clapboard siding, brand new roof. They're taking out the pillars and they're putting in really nice porch in the front. Brand new concrete, brand new approach, landscaping. That's a hipster house. Then we have this house. If we're talking, you know, 650, 700, it's probably not far off. If we're looking for top dollar, it's got some problems. Um, up at the top. All the trim is missing from the front corner. It's in place in the back. I can't see from this vantage point if we have a new roof, we might. But the gutters are really old and rusted and full of stuff. So if the roof was replaced and they kept the gutters, that's fine. I just, I don't know if they did the roof or not. I don't have the punch list. So clearly the side is sunk in here. And the way they ran this downspout out, so they ran it right onto the corner. So the water rolls out, hits that, rolls off, goes right back down, and the basement soaking wet. That does look newer. Uh, Yossi mentioned that we may have had the utility split here, so I don't know if this is all brand new. It's spray painted, the riser's older, and that pipe into the house looks older, so that might just be a new meter. I don't think that was split. Older central air unit, fine. Busted piece of some kind of window. Oh, that's plexiglass that somebody just screwed over. All the trim on the outside of the house is rotted and chipped. Got a busted window clearly right at the top up there. Um, see the foundation pulling away, shingles on the ground. So maybe we did do a new roof and they just didn't clean up. See the foundation pulling away from the house? Foundation is not in good shape. There's actually dirt where concrete should be. Um, wrapping around, that downspout's okay. We got big cracks in the foundation right there. He mentioned that he thought that this might have the electrical split. It's not been split, these are older meters. Um, I had mentioned in my last video, these doors are on backwards. Um, this handle should be on this side. Basically, they should take the security doors off and flip them. I get that this was probably done so that you don't have to stand on this side to walk in, but it makes opening the door a little awkward. We've got rotted out approach here. This is all rotted out. And then somebody took the time to put brand new wood in here. And that's an old step. And they actually ran new wood screws in to just kind of shore it up. Um, Nice job on the floor inside. The paint is marginal. See if I can get a good, see how from here up is one color, from here down is one color. And if you look carefully how I trace my finger, that's another color there. They got different batches of the color, probably from the same place, but different batches and so the walls are all different colors. None of the electrical has been updated in the house. If it's anywhere on the list that it has, they're full of it. These outlets are very old and dirty. The plaster around them is just gross and full of caulk. See? The walls just weren't smoothed out at all. Same thing over here. I mean, it's just old plaster. Oh, there's a hole. Right here, I can feel it with my foot. It's right. Can you see that? I don't know if that's showing up video. Right here. See how that moves? Either the plywood is missing here or there's something right under this part of the floor. And that's spongy. And what makes that better is if that's spongy right there, here's the sink. It's exactly where you're gonna stand, right there. Lovely job on the toe kicks. We do have water. And then clean the Plumber's putty from around this. Actually, they didn't even suck this down very far. I can torque that down more with my hand. Um, this is all 
fine. That looks good enough. I'm not sure where the basket strainers for these are. Cabinets are okay. End trim piece is okay. That oh, looks broken. Um, again, the paint job. I know it's just a closet, but I mean, we got big open cracks. The ceiling was never painted. This is all just, I mean, you can put your finger in that. It's just gross. That's the laundry. I actually walked in here live with Yosian, so he saw this when I saw it. It's just a really bad, I mean, look at that. This is the mud job they did. It's, it's not even attached. Um, let me turn that light off. Living room, floors are okay. Again, paint job's bad. Most of the outlets in some form or another are painted over. They used old door handles. Nobody cleaned up the door handles. I mean, there's better ways to do that. We would have filled it with wood and been done with it. Should have caulked all that up. Ceiling in here looks okay. However, the ceiling fan was up when they painted the ceiling. So can you see the overspray on the blades? I don't know why they didn't just take that down. I'll bet that was probably there because that looks nicer than anything the people who did this house would have installed. Um, the end of the drywall isn't finished. I mean, there should be a trim board or something there. Mud falling out of the corner of the ceiling. Again, overspray, paper's still up. And I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it, but again, look close. I'm gonna try and hold it real still. You see how it's kind of a cream color here in this area, and then bright white, bright white, bright white, string a cream color, white, cream color, white, cream color. You can see where they went back and forth with the sprayer, and they only painted half the ceiling. I mean, they got paint on half the ceiling. Rather than just pull out the whole trim piece, they leave the old piece at the bottom, Brand new, nice, beautiful piece of wood. Old piece. They didn't, you know, again, nice caulk job on the door. Should have just covered it with something so that you don't see all the door hinges and everything. I mean, this is the door frame. It's not, it's just not finished. Again, if this is just gonna be a rent it to the neighborhood kind of house, it's fine the way it sits. If this was supposed to be a high-end job, it's not. Old, old, old. They didn't even take the outlet covers off. Just painted over it. I don't know if you can see, there's just some like crap bleeding through here. I don't know that anybody really checks in during the job. I mean, a lot of this you just catch when you walk through the house. Oh, I just noticed right there. See that cream color square? They painted the whole ceiling except that little spot right there. Um, old, painted over. Upstairs is okay. Um, it is a loud house. I mean, I don't know whether or not we're really looking at hipsters here. Oh, there's a good angle right there. You see the different color paint swoosh down the middle? Like somebody came through and touched up after the fact and just, you know, again, you're gonna touch the wall up after the fact, you're better off cutting it right there and just repaint that little square. Not that big a deal. Nail holes everywhere. Looks like somebody had a BB gun machine gun in this place. Again, okay, they didn't even take the doorknob off when they painted it. They didn't take the outlet covers or the switch covers off. That one doesn't even latch. Big glob of crap up on. Oh, nice! So they trimmed it down. I don't know if I'm getting that on camera. See the, see the hole in the top? So they had to trim the door down and rather than put the block of wood back in it. Oh God, I just noticed, look how cocked that is. I don't know if you can see it, it, it goes down. Looks like the door frames kind of do that. Missing smoke detectors. 
Oh god, the ceiling looks better with the light off. We got a carbon monoxide detector, no smoke detectors. That patch right there is gonna fall down. In the bathroom. That's a big pet peeve of mine even back in Detroit. I hate when guys leave that. Never was taken off the wall. I mean, it's cheap, cheap low-end stuff. This is a $15 medicine cabinet. This is the base model. These are the crappy $29 faucets. You know, so again, if we're paying for this, looks fine. If this was more money, I mean, this is finished. This is what I love. So the towel bar was in the way. It's already got overspray on it, but because you don't want to get extra paint on it, you go around it. But that's just a piece of pressure treated wood, which you're not supposed to paint anyhow until it cures out. But what do I know? Not painted, not painted, not painted. Two different color paints above the shower stall. The shower stall is just expertly installed. We do have water, but the drain's not installed. There's your drain. Full of paint and crap in there. I'm looking to see. I can't tell if this is a new tub. I think it is. I think it's just a new tub that's just got a not great. Yeah, it is a new tub. This is the low-end tub from uh, Menards. It's got orange peel in it. That's why I wondered if we painted it, but it's just a tub. Um, you know, same thing, this side. Same as that side. And same thing, one away. Mud job. I'm only on one side too. I haven't even gone over to the other side yet. Big gap in the corner. Just crappy paint job. More holes in the walls. Carpet install looks decent. Same thing as the rest of the house, different color paint. It's okay that there's a smoke detector in here, but I mean, really, there's gotta be one out there. If your doors are closed and the middle of the house is on fire, which it's probably gonna come from the basement, by the time the smoke gets in this room to set that detector off, you're dead. Outlets, it's the same thing as every other room. Look, outlets have overspray on them, they're not changed out. Cables are just pulled out of the wall. Overspray, overspray, overspray. I mean, someone likes their paint sprayer, but they're not very good with it. Runs all down the trim because they shot it too heavy. Inside of the closet. <laughs> well, the light doesn't work. Somebody put the light in by just pounding a hole through the ceiling. And what I was going to show you is they painted that wall. They did not paint that wall. You can see the overspray wrapping around the corner, and then that wall's still yellow. So that's uh, 3416. I'm going to go over to 3414 now and see what that looks like.